In today's video, I'll be showing you how to film a fake drone shot with your iPhone. Maybe you don't own a drone or are in a place where flying drones are strictly forbidden. That is where you can use your creative mind and simulate a fake drone shot with your iPhone to still be able to get those great looking bird's eye perspectives like the ones you're seeing right now. Now, this is super easy to learn and there aren't much tools you need to pull this off. The first thing you will need is obviously a camera. I'll be using the iPhone 13 Pro Max. Next, you will also need a gimbal. I will be using the DJI OM4. And last, you will need something where you can bring the camera high above the ground. It could be a tripod, it could be a light stand. In my case, I will be using the extension pole by Insta360 since it extends up to three meters and can collapse together and is easy to bring along. I will leave a link to all products in the video description below. To set up the camera, I will be mounting the gimbal on top of the extension pole. After that, I attach the iPhone to the gimbal and make sure it's balanced correctly. Once you have that, you're ready to go. So let's look at how you can actually fake a drone shot with your iPhone. We are first going to create a push-in shot. It's important that you move steady in a constant speed, heel to toe to avoid up and down movement. When moving forward, keep your eyes on the path so that you won't walk into something. But also check your camera's position to see if it's facing the right direction. It can be challenging to frame your shot since the camera is high above and you can't see what you're filming. But if you have an Apple Watch, you can easily monitor and have a live view of the camera by using the camera remote app. Now, if you don't have an Apple Watch, don't worry. There's still some tricks on how you can compose your shots better. I recommend shooting in 4K using the ultra wide angle lens. This way you will be able to reframe your shot in post to get the right composition. As for the frame rate, I will be shooting in 60 frames per second, which allows me to slow down the footage in the edit. It also smoothens out the shot to make the fake drone shot more realistic. You're also able to create a speed ramp, which adds a dramatic effect into your videos. Now, obviously using this method, you're limited as you can't get as high as with a drone, but I still find it great to get a completely different perspective that could complement with your shots. To create a great sense of movement, you can also pass by objects and have them closer to your camera to create more depth in your video. By having objects closer to the camera, it feels like the camera is moving faster. For example, you can walk by a wall to create more depth in your shot. Now, the closer you get to the wall, the faster the movement will be. You will notice that on the other side, the movement isn't so apparent. Let's look at the push out shot. This is great for revealing a location and adds a lot of interest to your video. Again, set your focal point and slowly move backwards. It is more difficult to move backwards than forwards since you have to turn your head to look where you're going. You could also create a push in shot and reverse the clip. However, if you have people or animals in the shot, this might not work. Another tip I have for you is to be aware of shadows. You don't want the extension pole and the gimbal to peer in your shot because this could be distracting for the viewers and can ruin your shot. You could fix this in the edit by cropping in, but it's better to avoid it in the first place. Check where the light source is coming from to not have these shadows appear in your frame. So with these tips in mind, let's now apply what we learned into one shot. We're going to create a push in shot and slowly move forward at a constant speed with the shadows behind me. I have my focal point set and will use the tree to emphasize movement in my shot. And this is how the final video would look like once edited with music, sound effects and color grade. If you want to learn more and level up your smartphone filmmaking skills, make sure to check out my smartphone filmmaking course where I also go in depth on how to fake a drone shot with your phone and also show you how I edit to make your videos look more epic and professional. With that said, thank you so much for watching and I will see you the next time.